What's going on everybody? Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. All right, so before we start, I want to say um, this is the detailed part of the video. Um, this is the last part that I've been waiting for. Um, I'm gonna be over reducing my paint. Going in, I'm gonna be doing uh, white first and then switching to black and then back to white. And all I'm gonna be doing is little bitty hairlines in the picture and a series of little bitty dots and that's about it so it's pretty simple for just doing details and stuff like that um, i didn't want to go overboard i just wanted to add just enough i can spend like another five more hours on this picture if i wanted to because basically um you can make a picture last forever if you wanted to keep on reworking the picture um but i don't want to i just want to just call it done and i think it's good enough so hopefully you guys like it. Um, I got it down here and it actually looks pretty cool. I told you I'm gonna clear coat it. I'm gonna show you the brand that I use to clear and I'm gonna show you how I go about doing it. Okay, I got one more thing before we start. This is a game changer. It makes me see a whole lot better and that is... Oh man, I can see! It makes a big difference if you can uh, see your picture or what you're working on. So FYI, good investment. All right, let's get my picture up here and we will start chopping away at it and finish it up. So let's roll. Oops, I forgot to add that I'm blending my uh, gel pen together just so it's not all rough looking. I'm just kind of fading it out on some of the edges and stuff like that just to kind of give it more of a feather look. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is just to, you know, soften it up instead of it looking, you know, uh, really grainy and it just goes, you know, from, you know, black to a really solid white, meaning the gel pen being really solid white. So I just like to just kind of make it a smooth transition from the white to the black. The uh, squiggly lines and the little bitty dots, that's what I'm calling the details on it. That will be coming up here really shortly. Well, I have some interesting news to tell you guys. Um, I decided to use a third airbrush. I know in the beginning of the video uh, that I was only going to use just the two. But I haven't used this one for a really long time and I just was just biting my fingers that I wanted to get it out, get it put back together, get some paint flowing through it. Just because I don't use it a whole lot, I will be switching that over to an Iwata Custom Micron and it's a 0.23 millimeter needle. Um, the reason why is just because I haven't used it for a while and I could have used you know one airbrush through this whole entire picture. But I like a variety. I don't like to use the same airbrush over and over and over again. I like to, you know, do different ones because they all have a different feel. There's my little squiggly lines like I was talking about. So between the two brands, Iwata and Harder and Steenbeck, I don't have a favorite. I like both of them. They both have pros and they both have cons, just like anything else out there. Um, I can only, you know, say that to these because I don't, I've never owned any other airbrush like Badger and stuff like that. I would like to just to see how they paint and how, you know, if they're any different than what these two are. But until then, I feel like I have too many airbrushes already. Um, <laughs> I know you guys are probably saying, like, too many airbrushes. You can never have too many of them. But I feel like, you know, I would just use my money on other things rather than buying, you know, the same thing over and over again. So I think I'm just going to, you know, keep these and ride these out for a while until I break one or something like that. And then I have to replace it. 
And if you notice that I did turn my brightness up on my camera, just so when I use the black, you can see it a lot better. I don't usually turn the brightness up. In my all my other videos, I like to kind of uh, tone it down a little bit and make my, uh, make my camera a little bit darker, just so it doesn't wash out the picture, because I know when you add a lot of white and stuff like that, it does get really uh, uh, washed out. So I did do that just to kind of make it, you know, a lot better for you guys to see. Um, I know when I'm working on it here right now, uh, it is really easy to see when you add black, but it's hard for sometimes the camera to, you know, pick it up. Oh yeah, finally I get to use the airbrush that I haven't used for uh, quite a while. Um, I just got my black loaded up. I got it really reduced down so it's a pretty transparent black. And I'm just kind of pushing back some of the areas that are just too white. Um, I'm still looking at my reference picture. I have to say that if you look at my reference picture side by side with the picture that I'm painting, um, there is a lot more detail in the reference picture. I just didn't want to add every single little thing in there and I didn't want to look under like a microscope, but I feel like it's good enough and I kind of, you know, added in my own extra details and stuff like that along the way where I felt like, you know, that I could use them. So what I'm saying is you guys don't have to, you know, uh, Cross your T's and dot your I's and make the picture the exact. You can always, you know, add up a little bit of your own stuff and you can, you know, you can subtract away from the picture. That's totally a-okay and, you know, you just make it your own. And when I say add in details, um, like I'm doing right now, uh, I just kind of call it as I see it. So I just kind of look at my reference picture and some, you know, some little areas, I just kind of do a little bit of, uh, straight lines and uh, lines that are curved. You can do little circles. You can do little figure eights. Uh, you can do it, like any kind of, you know, subtle swipe with the airbrush and that will give you an added detail effect um, that just kind of gives it texture to the image just to make sure it doesn't look, you know, uh, not flat. Kind of gives it, you know, a three dimensional look. When I define details, that is all it really is. If you just kind of simplify it, it's just little bitty, you know, uh, strokes with the airbrush that you're just kind of moving your hand back and forth in any direction you want to. And if you're not comfortable adding details, then that is totally cool. You can just go ahead and skip over it. Oh, we won't bomb away. 
I thought I just might add that in there. That's my little go-to dance and sing routine. Just when I finished me an awesome picture. Came out pretty cool. I'm glad I painted it for you guys just to show you um, a little bit of a demo on maybe you, you know, picked up some tricks and hints along the way. Uh, super happy the way it came out. Uh, that's my little victory dance, by the way. Just FYI, I know it's cheesier than cheese, but hey. We're having fun, we're making art, and this is what we made, and hopefully you guys likey likey. Um, now it's off to getting it clear coated. I have to leave the video here because I don't have enough space um, on here. I wanted to keep it under 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it. And then I'm going to pick up where I left off um, on the next video. And this will be my last video coming up. I just started editing it. So it's looking good so far. But we are going to be doing the uh, gloss clear like I promised for all of you guys. And make sure you guys wear a respirator. Um, just because it's super important and you want to keep them lungs healthy. So do it for me and wear a respirator and it'll keep you out of the hospital. So I want to say thanks to everybody that has joined me this far and have watched um, all of my tutorial videos and commented and stuff like that. It's been super cool. It's been super fun doing this. Although I know I did go fast on it. Maybe I will do more in the future where I kind of slow it down and I explain you know a little bit more but i didn't want to drag it out for like you know like 20 videos or something like that i just kind of wanted to show you and kind of give you you know some tips and some heads up of how i would do the picture uh myself um hopefully that helped uh so i just want to leave it there and we will see you guys in the next video have fun painting and i will see you guys later